Section 8.3, Perimeter and Area. The perimeter of a two-dimensional figure is the sum of the lengths, length, lengths of the size of the figure. The area is the measure of the region within the boundaries of the figure. And here's some formulas shown here for the rectangle, the square, the parallelogram, the triangle, and the trapezoid. And again, the same formulas on a little different with their picture of the figures. Find the area of the triangle. Now notice in this um, diagram, there's a height here, and then this 41 is actually the length of that side. Remember the area of formula for the triangle is one half of the base, in this case is 20, 28 yards, times the height, which is 38 yards. So we're going to substitute those into the formula, simplify, and we get 532. And remember, the units here are going to be square, so yards squared, because we're talking about area. Find the area and perimeter of this figure. Now, again, notice here they show us the length of the sides and also the height, because this is a parallelogram. And the area for a uh, base formula for the area of a parallelogram is the base, which in this case is 17 inches, times the height, which is 5 inches. And so the area is going to be 85 square inches. And then the perimeter is the distance all the way around. So we're going to go around here, 17 plus 9 plus 17 plus 9, or 2 times the base, 2 times 17, plus 2 times the width of the length of that side there, which is 9. And so we get 52 inches. And the units for the perimeter are the same units as the original measurements of the figure. Rod wishes to replace the grass or the sod on a lacrosse field. One pallet of sod costs $360 and covers 480 square feet. If the area to be covered is a rectangle with a length of 360 feet and a width of 228 feet, first we want to determine the area to be covered with the sod. So remember, length times width, so 360 feet was the length, 228 was the length. Uh, width rather, and if we multiply those, we get 82,080 square feet. Now we want to figure out how many pallets Rob needs to buy. Okay, so the area to be covered, we just calculated, and we know the area that one pallet covers, which is 480 square feet. So we're going to divide that into the total area, and we come up with 171 pallets that Rob will need. Now, how much does it cost? So we're going to multiply the 171 pallets times the cost per pallet, which is $360, or the whole uh, sod is for the um, field is going to be $61,560. The Pythagorean theorem, the sum of the squares of the lengths of the legs of a right triangle equals the square of the length of the hypotenuse. So leg squared plus leg squared is hypotenuse squared. Some people remember A squared plus B squared is C squared. And remember, C is the longest side of the triangle, and it's what we say is opposite to the right angle. A and B are the shorter sides or the legs of the triangle. The moat surrounding a castle is 18 feet wide. It's filled with water. And the, um, the wall of the moat is 24 feet high. If an invading army wishes to use a ladder to cross the moat and reach the top of the wall, shown here, how long does that ladder have to be? And we notice that makes a nice right triangle, so we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So we can say that c squared, which is the length of the ladder, is equal to 18 squared plus 24 squared. Square those numbers, add them together, then take the square root. So the ladder has to be at least 30 feet long for it to reach the top of that wall. A circle is a set of points equidistant from a fixed point, which is called the center. The distance from the center to any point on the um, edge of the circle is called the radius. And then the diameter goes from one side of the circle to the other side through the center, and the diameter is twice the radius. So the circumference is the length of the simple curve that forms the circle, and it's just like the perimeter that we talked about. It's a special word for the perimeter of a circle. And it's equal to 2 pi r. The area of the circle is pi r squared. Find the area and circumference of this circle. So we noticed that we were given the diameter, but our formulas use the radius, so we're going to have to divide the diameter by 2 in order to get the radius, which is 9 yards. The formula for the area was pi r squared. So for that circle, I'm going to substitute in 9 yards for the radius squared. I get 81. And then I'm going to multiply by either using the pi key on my calculator or usually 3.14 will give you a good approximation. 
for the circumference, it's 2 pi r. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the 2 pi times the 9 yards, 18 pi yards, and I get 56.55 yards is the circumference or the distance around the circle. And I use the pi key on my calculator for these calculations if you want to verify them. Determining the shaded area. So if you have a figure where you've got one figure superimposed on another and there's a shaded region that you're asked to, de to determine, here's how you're going to do it. You're going to find the area of the larger region, the area of the smaller region, and this is like being cut out of there. So you're going to subtract the area of this circle from the area of, in this case, the parallelogram. And the directions say use the pi key on your calculator and round to the nearest hundredth, which means two decimal places. Now, <clears throat> what's the height of the parallelogram here? Notice that the radius of the circle is two feet. So if I continue this across, the diameter is four feet. And that must be the height of the parallelogram because I need to find the area of the parallelogram. And it's going to be 10, the base times the height, 10 times 4 or 40 square feet. Then I need to find the area of the circle, which is going to be pi r squared. 4 pi, or approximately 12.57 feet squared. So then I'm going to subtract in order to find the shaded region. So I'm going to take 40 and subtract 12.57, and I get approximately 27.43 square feet.